My view about um, the concession plan of government as at today is the right way to go. Um, we all know that um, when private people do things, it is cheaper, it is more efficient than when government does it. Government have been doing it, and in their wisdom, they are ready to give it to private hands. Leave infrastructure challenges to public hand. That is why we're saying, government is saying, I am leaving public infrastructure development to private. And government is doing public-private partnership in 50 key areas, three only or four in aviation. I'm not mouthpiece for government, but I think it's the right way to go. We are concessioning the terminals, the terminals of Lagos, Abuja, Portacourt, and Kano through public-private partnership. They're bringing their capital. He has the fear of the workers is justified in the face of what happened to ex-staff of the Nigeria Airways, but is optimistic that with the existence of the, in, of the Infrastructure Concession Regulation Commission, uh, this exercise may likely be different. The only regulation that we have today, ICRC, to make this happen, thereafter hand over to Nigeria CAA. So, if you look at the case of Nigeria Airways, what happened to the workers was very bad after the um, liquidation of the airline. But under this experiment, I want to trust and I want to believe that the workers' concern would be well handled by the commission. What happens to the workers after? What happens to the workers during? And what happens even before? Where to start will be to access the situation of the workers. How many do they have? The fears of the workers are justified because sanctity of contracts in the past has not been very good. How should the process go? ICRC has laid down process. All they have to do is to carry all the stakeholders along. Stage by stage, advertisement of whatever what they want to do, transparency in handling matters, sanctity of the contract. That's the way it should go.